Good morning, DVMS Cardinals. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, wanted to come back on this April Fool's Day uh, and give you guys uh, some more of this uh, inspiration <laughs> from Mr. Jones this morning. Uh, and so I tell you, you know, I was going to come back on Wednesday and here we are again. But um, what I want to do first is this, right, is we talked about anxiety. And as you see, I got my Google slides up here dealing with anxiety during tough times. And so the first thing we got to do is understand what is the definition of anxiety, right? So it's a feeling of worry, nervousness or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. Pretty much what we're dealing with right now in these trying times, right? You know, we don't really know the outcome of school. We don't know what's going to happen with the rest of the coronavirus. We don't know what's going to happen down the road. And so those are things right now that we're currently thinking about. What I want to tell you is this, right? Uh, one of the things I want you to do is this. I want you to take this thing day by day, all right? Uh, like I'm doing, I'm taking it day by day. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not concerned with it. What I'm concerned with right now is making sure that these Google slides look cool and that I'm not looking like a fool on this camera. Uh, a couple of steps I want you guys to follow. Uh, I, want, I gave you guys a few steps on Monday, but I gave you a few more here today. And one of them being, hey, man, go outside for a walk. Get out of the house. Uh, even if it's just to go outside and stand on the front porch, just go outside. Go do something else with your time. Maintain a positive attitude, right? And I know that can be tough. Uh, especially if maybe you're in a negative household, whatever the case may be, right? Things are tough right now. Try to maintain a positive attitude and know that this thing is going to end and we're going to get back to doing things that we normally uh, are used to doing. Uh, talk to someone. You know, my favorite, find a safe space or better yet, distract yourself. As you see, I put for the first one, reading. Get your book and get your read on, okay? Get you about 20 minutes a day in. All right, a reading, get some exercise in, throw some music on, do something, all right, to distract yourself from everything that's going on, all right? Uh, I want to provide you guys with a couple of online resources that you can utilize, right? Um, and you'll be able to utilize these right here, and I'll make these hyperlinks. Uh, I'm going to attach these here also in my YouTube video uh, where you guys will be able just to go in, boot, click on them, and go from there. And I'll also share, I'll share this with the uh, teachers uh, as well. Okay. Uh, also here's my contact info. Hit me up. Miss miles, hit us up. Let us know how you're doing. Uh, just give us a shout and just say, Hey, Mr. Jones, what's going on? Wanted to give you a shout, whatever. Or if you just want to talk, let me know. And we can even set up a zoom meeting, uh, where I can talk to you and your parents. That's also a big help right now during these times as well. So just know that we got some options that we, that we can use uh, to reach out and talk and, and chop it up a little bit. Okay. Now to end this thing off the right way is my personal story, uh, about how I'm dealing with my anxiety right now. And guys, for me, this thing has been tough. Uh, I don't like just being at the house. Like I told you, I'm, I'm finding stuff to do around. Like when I tell you that my, 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 uh, my drawer with my silverware in it right now is probably the most organized it's ever been. Like, I got them forks lined up perfectly. I got my spoons. Uh, I got my butter knives. I got, I mean, just all kind of my, my spatulas are a certain way in the drawer. I mean, like, it is nuts right now. <laughs> so, you talk about my OCD taking over. Uh, it is craziness. But, uh, I'm just, again, it's how I'm having to deal with it right now uh, between working out, you know, anywhere between once, sometimes even twice a day. Like, yes, yeah, yesterday uh, I worked out in the morning, then came back in the afternoon. Monday did the same thing. So now I'm working out twice a day. Um, just doing anything I can to keep myself focused, to keep myself going in the right direction, just to make it, making sure that I'm not allowing uh these outside circumstances to affect my life here at home. And so I get it. I understand that we got a lot going on right now and I know it can be a burden, but just know that there are things you can do to take your mind off of it at the end of the day. Right. And that we can do to move forward. So, uh, just keeping everything in perspective, just know, Hey, I'm dealing with it. You know, there's people all across the U S that's dealing with it. We all face with new challenges, like I said, again, this is unforeseen territory that we've never been in and we just going to have to face it. Right. 
But again, we are DVMS. We are resilient. And this is what we do, right? Like I said, like I've always said, guys, we're better than everybody else because we are who we are, right? Because we're DVMS. Just know that. Uh, but I'm going to end it right there. You guys have a great April 1st, April Fool's Day. And remember to be on a mission for success.